up a two here. Alex Kennedy into the wall as the 23 has heavy damage on the right front and right rear. You can see as you come off the corner, a lot of times you're able to catch this and maybe not hit anything, but he catches the outside wall. And then that banking carries you all the way down to the inside where you slam that and really tear your race car up. No, what happened to Kevin Swindell? Holy cow. Good Lord. That is the 23, and what happened here? Just pulled up in front of him. Oh, oh wow. Man. Oh. oh. What a, man, what a bad break for Swindell, dude. What did he do? He drove straight across the damn racetrack. I had the wheel cranked and everything. I was trying to go back up the track to just try and get back down to the pits and everything. Um, see if we can maybe salvage the car as it was, and it wouldn't turn. And it just, I was, it started turning on me. It started feeling like normal, and then all of a sudden, it just stopped turning and went straight to the truck, went straight to the top. And so I wasn't expecting that. And so I just tried to, st I just got stopped, you know, thinking, okay, I can't roll back down in case people are coming. But I feel horrible for Kevin. I ruined his day, I know. And, um, I can't apologize enough for that. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, uh, I'm frustrated as you could possibly be, I guess. You know, this is, uh, it's something that should not happen. You know, you're just uh, trying to relax, talk to the crew chief about the car and, uh, you know, get a drink and, and all of a sudden there's a car sitting in the racetrack. So it's, uh, you know, nowhere to go and you can't really move around to this place to get out of the way. And I hate it, tore up a good Roush Fenway Mustang and, uh, and we were finally getting rolling here.